Magical hello, I'm Rachel and I am obsessed with Disney and also I love spending time at Disneyland Paris. It is so magical. I've been fortunate and blessed to be able to go to Disneyland Paris more than 25 times and with each trip I have found a new way to save some euros. Before you go to Disneyland Paris, you have to know what you want to spend the most amount of money on. So for us as a family, we always like to have an evening meal which is extra special. So we like to save our euros for that extra special meal. That is a character dining, Buffalo Bills, um, inventions. Um, that's just how we like to treat ourselves whilst we're at Disneyland Paris. And throughout the day, we would like we would save our euros um, for that meal. So it could be that you're saving these euros to spend on certain merchandise or you have a certain amount of money you want to spend per day um, and these tips hopefully will come in handy but also keep you having the most magical time at Disneyland Paris. So um, first of all I want to say that you are allowed to bring your own snacks into Disneyland Paris. Now you, what you're not allowed to do is rock up with a picnic basket and a picnic um, blanket. No, 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 no. Um, snacky bits are perfect to have in your backpack. So when I say snacky bits I mean like little packets of raisins. You can buy them from major supermarkets being Disney themed. Um, you can go to Tesco's and buy the little packets of mini breadsticks. Um, we go at Christmas so I like to bring like mini Christmas, I like to bring um, candy canes, um, the marshmallow lollies like your Santas, your penguins and your snowmans just to keep it like Christmassy and um, also as well we also like to take the squeezy little jellies and um, they're just easy to have you don't need a spoon or anything like that and the kids can just hold it and, and, and squeeze it into the mouth um, as well having snacks available throughout the day a keeps the cost down and also while you are queuing for rides parades or um character meet and greets you it keeps the kids occupied and also it keeps their bellies full as well another top tip um, regarding snacks is um we travel th um, via the car so we are fortunate that we're allowed to take our own food within the car but there's no weight restrictions of anything like that so what we do is we buy a big bag of popcorn and we keep that in the hotel room. I decanter some out into a sandwich bag and put that sandwich bag in my backpack. Um, then from Poundland I would buy the um, paper um, popcorn holders and then once the kids are waiting for the parade to start I will open the um, popcorn holder and pull the popcorn in then you're still having popcorn like everyone else is around the parade but yours has come at a really good price. Bring an empty water bottle. Throughout the parks there are free water fountains which are drinkable water. Um, if you are like me and you don't particularly like plain water then um, go to your local supermarket, especially home bargains because they're the cheapest, um, and buy the little squirties of um, dilute and you can just squirt some dilute juice in here and you've got um, juice on the go. Autograph books. Throughout the shops in the parks, they will be selling autograph books to, so you can capture your favourite character's autographs. Um, within the parks, these can become quite expensive. They start at a budget price, which is just a plain autograph book with paper inside where you can capture your signatures. Then they have these ones with a pen attached and also where um, it comes with um, an empty photo um, and then the um, autograph here. Um, different ones come at a different price point. However, to save some euros and to some pounds, um, if you go to the Disney store online, you will find a section called Disneyland Paris. In there, they sell the actual Disneyland Paris autograph books. Now, why I'm mentioning this is because sometimes Disney store have certain offers on. I think last Tuesday they had one called um, Toy Tuesday where you could save 24%. This is just one way of being able to save some pennies. You don't necessarily need an autograph book to be able to capture those signatures. I have used one of these before. This is a little golden book and it says everything I need to know I learned from a Disney little golden book. Inside here has different characters and it's the most gorgeous story about Disney and how magical it is. So what you could do, let's let's find a page. So for instance here, 
um, if you saw Buzz, you would have Buzz autograph here. Um, and then if you had Ariel, you know, Ariel, Ariel could sign here. You would have all your characters in one book. Then when you got home, you could read this story to your child and relive all those magical moments with the certain characters you had. And it's a lovely keepsake. I got this from Amazon, I think it was £5 and it's a gorgeous little keepsake to have. However, you don't need to spend that amount of money. You could actually just bring a notebook. Um, you could go to Poundland, especially now Frozen 2 season is um, big. You could pick up a, a Disney notebook and this and the couches would be more than happy to sign that. You could make that into like a scrapbook and put little photographs in um, and keep little like um, tickets and things which you, found, which you have throughout the park in there and it could be like your memory book of your holiday. Also as well, just another idea is a lot of people take out a photo aperture um, um, out and they get the um, um, characters to sign around it and they have this in an envelope and then once you get back home you could put your picture up and then you'll have all your character signatures around it. This would look amazing if you've got a picture of the castle and your family in front of it and then all the lovely characters around it. It would be a perfect keepsake which you could have out and everyone could admire it and it would just remember, remind you of a wonderful magical time you've had in Disneyland Paris. This actual photo frame was from Ikea and it cost me £1.49. So it's a lot cheaper and the characters do not mind um, signing it as well. Meals is where you could spend a lot of money. One of the options is having a meal plan. Meal plans come in three ways. You have standard, standard plus and premium. And um, it's entirely up to you which plan you would like to buy. Um, standard has um, five um, restaurants available. Um, standard plus has 10, 10 restaurants and premium has 15 restaurants um, and and more. So it's entirely up to you what you want to do as a family. If you're wanting to um, throughout your stay have lots of character dining then it probably is a lot cheaper to buy that meal plan up front. Um, however if you're wanting like snacky um, like teas I would call it like a burger and chips then necessarily it won't be cheaper to use a meal plan. Best thing to do is to go on Disneyland Paris's website and have a look at the restaurants and look at the menus and look which menu you like and have a look at the price point. Within that price point it will have a, a little like um, symbol saying standard, premium or standard plus. If you are choosing more of the um, standard plus and premium then please do opt, opt for a meal plan. You will um, save money in the long run. You're just paying upfront for it. However, if a meal plan is something you just don't want to do, then cool, there is lots of budget-friendly um, restaurants. So in the village itself, there has the good old McDonald's. Who doesn't love a McDonald's? Then you have Earl of Sandwich, which makes the best sandwiches whatsoever. It is gorgeous and really, really nice. Then across from there, you have um, the sports bar, which do pizzas. You could share a pizza together. There's also um, Lugwit, which is a really nice restaurant to have something to eat. And also they do happy hour as well. I think it's five till six to do happy hour on certain drinks. Also as well in the village, they have five guys as well. Moving into the parks, um, Disneyland Park have um, Videotropolis. Um, they do lots of meal deals. And some of their meal deal um, portions are on the larger size, which is a win-win indeed. So my little boy, uh, Max, I say little boy, he's 10. Max, he's um, two... He's too old for the kids meal, but he's not old enough for the adults meal. He finds an adults meal too much and the kids meal too little food. So me and Max will absolutely split a meal. Um, we'll choose a burger, so it's a veggie burger or a normal burger. Um, and then you would have fries, your drink, and then also as well, you would have a dessert and we would just share that. Um, and it just cuts down the cost as well. Also as well, you've got cases on the co Casey Corner, which sells the best hot dogs whatsoever. And these hot dogs are huge. You're looking about seven euros for a hot dog. What we do, we split it in half and, um, and you've got more than enough of a half a hot dog, that is for sure. Also as well, odd side, there is the train station. And I know that a lot of people use the train station little shop inside because they do meal deals as well, like a sandwich, a drink, a packet of crisps, and it's a lot cheaper than actually in the parks. So that's just one option as well. 
Also as well, I've never personally used it. There is a free shuttle bus to the supermarket. So you could get a few snacks in the supermarket. That is just something to bear in mind if that is suitable for you. Merchandise. There is so much merchandise to buy and it's so lovely but sometimes you need to take your Disney head off and put your sensible head on when it comes to merchandise and um, as much as it's very hard to do so for a Disney nerd like me and um, I really have to think about what I actually need um, and not just want it kind of thing and um, so what we do is we allocate the last day of our holiday as merchandise day that's when we go shopping and we do that for two reasons the first reason is because probably you've seen absolutely everything what is available to buy and um, you've probably gone into the shops and seen certain things and also as well any spare euros you've been able to then put towards the merchandise we set guidelines for our children and uh, my kids know that um, they'll have a special um, treat at the end of the holiday but this this um, merchandise treat will be something from uh, their best character interaction or their best um, ride interaction and why we do that is because Grace might have had a wonderful interaction with Stitch so she might want to buy a Stitch at the end of our holiday so when she sees that Stitch she then thinks of how wonderful um, it was to meet Stitch and what interaction she got with Stitch so that that cuddly toy becomes more than just a cuddly toy it becomes a memory and she can talk about it um, until she's a lot older and it's the same with um, Max as well Max is older so he may decide to have some certain pins he likes to collect pins so he might have gone on a certain ride and absolutely loved it so he might he might have the pin up to that so it, it comes more of a memory a memory than just a toy which you know is just going to get thrown away because in the heat of the moment they've gone that's that's amazing I want 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 that and um, so that's what we do and it really really works for us also as well the children have a budget per day to spend so they have about five euros a day and um, which they can buy goofy laces with goofy sweets and um, whatever they would like to spend but that's up to them they have five euros a day and what we're trying to instill is if they don't if they want to save it then they'll be able to save it we're there for seven days so that's 35 euros that gets a good size cuddly toy or a good present indeed um, and they will save those euros to be able to purchase that there's a gorgeous light show um, um, at Disneyland Paris and the castle gets lit up and there's fireworks and it is absolutely stunning this happens at the close of the park and it is amazing and what you will see is some lovely cast members with trolleys selling flashing ears and flashing hats and don't get me wrong they're absolutely gorgeous but they are highly priced so what we do instead is we bring these glow sticks so um we've got glow ears they've got glow wands they've got glow bracelets glow necklaces glow and um, flashing rings and the children absolutely love making these up um and um, honestly we get so many people asking us where we got these glow sticks from where do you get your glow your glow flashing rings from and um, and it, they're basically from asda the whole pack of this is three pound and a it keeps the kids busy while they're waiting for the show to start and also they feel like they're included like everyone else when they've got flashing items we've also in the past used glow in the dark laces we've had flashing laces where we've put um rings on the laces so the laces flash we've also bought from sports direct um, not especially for Disney, it was from other occasions, but they've had those LED flashing trainers. Um, so things like that just to bring, um, saves you a lot of euros. Ears, you'll see so many people um, wearing ears around the park and ears at Disneyland Paris are absolutely stunning. Do not get me wrong. However, they're quite expensive. So you can buy these in your, in the UK, Primark, Claire's, um, eBay. Also try your charity shops. The ones I'm wearing now are were actually from Disneyland Paris, but I picked them up in a charity shop for 50p. Then all I've done is, add, is added some um, pin badges to them, um, Mickey and Minnie gingerbread, just to make them more just to make them more Christmas there. So, th so buying ears in the UK does save a lot of money before you get to the park. The weather, pack for every occasion. So if you're going at summertime, make sure you bring your suntan lotion, your after sun. 
it'll be a lot cheaper for you to buy um, in the UK than it will be in the parks. Also, winter time, it may rain or snow, so bring in ponchos. You can pick these up at Poundland Home Bargains and they will sell, save you a lot of euros indeed. You're looking at a poncho at Disneyland Paris, as much as you would like it with their logo, you're looking about 15 euros and let's be honest you're never going to wear it again um at home it's just a waste of money to be at the end of the day so um i always buy my ponchos from um poundland this year um i've got another poncho i got it from a charity shop and it is basically the penguin out of toy store it's mr squeaks it looks amazing so it's just in case it rains i've got a poncho and it cost me 50p from a charity shop and it'll be on point because it is mr squeaks from toy story but if a poncho is not for you you don't like the idea of a poncho then bring a pocket size umbrella in your rucksack because if you do forget an umbrella an umbrella in the parks you are looking at 30 euros and as much as the stunning that's 30 euro saved so bring um a, a, a an umbrella in your bag and also as well make sure to bring a carrier bag so you'll be able to put the the wet umbrella in the carrier bag in your bag so you're not carrying around a soggy umbrella photo pass now this is an upfront cost but it will save you in the long run so i always purchase my photo pass prior to going to disneyland paris i book my holiday through magic breaks i find them absolutely fantastic so my photo pass um, is about 60 60 pounds um from the magic breaks this is a lot cheaper than buying this in the park i think in the parks it is 80 euros so already you are saving 20 pounds really um before you even get to the parks now what is a photo pass inside this photo pass you will get a lanyard and two smaller um, photo passes. What you need to do is download the photo pass app onto your phone. You can buy it through the um, Apple Store and also an Android accepts it as well. And the app is free to download. Also as well, what you're given is you're given an individual code, which is here. You will enter that into the app with a password. And then you are logged in. So then what happens is every time you see a character who has a photographer with them, you will then give this card to the photographer. They will scan it and every photograph which is taken with you and that character is all saved on this card. Within three hours, those all those photographs are downloaded onto your photo onto your photo app. This is also included in Photo Pass rides. So any rides which has a camera attached to it, you would just look out for the number attached to that photo, and then you would go to the um, cast member, say the number, and they will scan your Photo Pass. So all those uh, memories are captured on here. So that means on your phone, you have all those professional photographs stored on your phone and then what you can do then is when you get back home you can then take them to um, your local um, photo shop like, like your boots or your asda and print them off at a relatively um, inexpensive price you could then even choose your favorite photo and print it up and get it in a nice um, photo frame just to give you an idea of how much you can save, every time you go to a character meet and greet, um, you will have your photograph taken and then the photographer will give you one of these cards. On one of these cards, you will then have it and you'll give it to every photographer you see and same with rights but you can't download the app or anything like that. Then you can take it to a photo pass shop and have a look at all your photographs on there. Then if you wanted a few taken off, you're looking about 20 euros per photo to print off. So basically you could have to choose three photographs to print off for 60 euros, whereas this photo pass is 60 euros to buy, but you could have absolutely all your photographs to look at. And what's the brilliant thing about this is every photograph stayed on here. It stays on for one year. So you have one year to have a look at your photographs, download them onto your camera roll and you've got them forever. Um, they, it's amazing. We've used them in calendars. We've printed them off into pictures. Um, it's amazing. And you get high quality photos and it's amazing. I absolutely love this. 
However, if you are on a really tight budget, you have spent all the pennies on having a really nice hotel and getting their transportation, and you really just want to enjoy what you've got included in your price point, and merchandise is something which you've really got a really small budget on, then what I suggest to do is this, and we do it a lot just to make it extra special. Within Disney, they have something called pixie dust. So it's something which is magical and you just don't know where it comes from. So I'm always the forgetful one. I always have to go back into the hotel room after everyone's left because I've always forgotten something. Wink, wink. So what happens is there may be three chocolate coins I turn into a Mickey. There may be like a pair of socks which I've bought from Primark laid near their pyjamas. There may be candy canes over Christmas made into a love heart. Um, there may be um, Clinton's um, Zum Zums, which have been a pound, um, one each for them. And that Disney magic keeps it alive. So whatever day, how many days you are, just a little bit of Disney magic like that um, really keeps the magic alive and your kids really have the best time ever and it's so nice when they run in and see like that oh, it's pixie dust it's pixie dust mummy look and it just makes your it just makes your stay honestly amazing and it costs a little amount of money also as well they do have a service um, where they, you can ask request to have a, a cuddly toy put on your bed so when you walk into your room there's a cuddly toy um, and some chocolate coins and things like that but this comes at a premium price that is for sure so what we do is um, I need the toilet um, I'm always needing the toilet when we check after we checked in um, you can guess what happens. I will then go upstairs and I have, will have bought some um, inexpensive Disney merch uh, which I've collected from Poundland, Home Bargains, your B&Ms and they will have a gift bag on the beds and when they walk in it's just an extra magical touch um, to it and they don't know anything wiser and it's just really nice to add, add to your holiday. So I hope you've enjoyed my money saving tips and I hope they can become useful for you. So as I would normally say, I would say sending positive thoughts. But because this is a Disney video, I'm sending magical positive thoughts to you. So see ya. Bye.